Assalamu alaikum everyone uh, Welcome for a new lesson for your book The Travel 3 My Second Secondary Students Let's get started We usually start with our objectives as you can see we only have two for today and what we'll learn today is one choose the correct words and phrases that must appropriately complete sentences two use the future will the future going to the future progressive and the future perfect appropriately so as you can see we have two objectives we'll learn, we're going to learn today uh, we got too many uh, phrases and vocabulary okay we're gonna learn too many good and nice vocabulary for today and also for number two we got grammar and we got a bunch of uh, you know almost all the future uh, tenses the future with will and M is are going to the future progressive and the future perfect. As you know, in your book, in the unit, it speaks about uh, the natural disasters, pollution, and the problems, uh, or the serious problems our you know planet uh, is facing. So the question is here for you: This is our planet, and it looks in a bad condition. And the question is. What do you consider to be the most serious problems our planet faces? We are we all live on this planet. We are all part of it, and we're all responsible for you know the chemical pollutions in the air, the water pollution, the soil pollution, and everything, and the global warming, killing animals, using uh, you know clean and your renewable uh, energy, uh, recycling. Uh, saving you know uh, electricity and water these are all serious problems that our planet faces and also uh, wars so we are all part of this you should start with yourself start in your school start in your house and everywhere around you so we can save some good you know atmosphere some good uh, place for my children, your children, your grandsons, and even uh, the next generation. If you take a look here at this exercise, now we go to learn also the vocabulary that we're going to learn are so much related related to the uh, ecosystem, the pollution, the natural disasters, the nature. The recycling that you know renewable uh, uh, energy so we're going to choose a word and all these words are somehow related word or phrase that most appropriately completes each sentence so we have four options one is correct we have a b c d let's find the meaning and choose the best word and write it into the space so the national garden like A or N, it depends on vowel or consonant, in the middle of the city where many people go to get away for a while. So the National Garden is like a pond, is like an oasis, is like an island chain, or is a, a an ecosystem. You think about the meaning, which one or which word best fits, and uh, the space according to the meaning, and sometimes grammar, Every morning, the soldiers, what, rise, increase, or raise, or carry the flag. If you're in the army, you know, you salute the, uh, you know, uh, your flag in the morning with the national anthem. So what do you do? You rise, you increase, you raise, or you carry the flag. Three, can I speak to Rita, uh, to Rita, if he's asleep, though, don't, what, interrupt him, threaten him, disturb him, annoy him? Four, this landfill site is a health shortage, verge, threat, or hazard. Uh, five, tarsuses are the only species, only lizards, only reptiles or types that I'm not afraid of. And here are the answers for you. So the National Garden is like an oasis in the middle of the city. Every morning they raise 
the flag three uh, please don't disturb him uh, this landfill site is a healthy uh, is a health hazard and uh, tarsuses uh, are the only reptiles that I am not afraid of let's go for more exercises also we got more vocabulary to learn and also related somehow to uh, ecosystem and nature so choose also the word or phrase that most appropriately completes each sentence one the capacity or the weight or the length or the height of this bottle is 1. Point liters, uh, 1.5 liters so how do we measure uh, you know liters by capacity weight length or height two how many tones ounces grams or gallons of fuel does it take to fill up your car three the job requires specific skills and personal what qualities challenges treasures or features four the energy the climate the pollution the habitat in Britain has changed a lot in the past 50 years five lions in the wild are natural creatures prey predators or animals so lions in the wild are what what do we call them natural creatures natural prey predators or animals you need to check the meaning of every word in a dictionary this will enrich your vocabulary as but here we have some grammar so we have a bunch of future tenses if you remember them and remember our lesson is a roundup so it's closer to be a revision so we're trying to remember what we have studied in the past two uh, uh, in the past week so choose the word or phrase that produces a grammatically correct sentence this time tomorrow so you're talking about a certain time in tomorrow in the future we against the Bolton hockey team we will play we're going to play play or we will be playing remember when do we use the future tense uh, that we imagine and talk about uh, uh, you know a situation or a moment uh, of time in the future so we go to it and come back what do we call this tense uh, the rest is too we need some milk okay I will buy some or I will be buying uh, uh, some or I'll buy some or I am buying some on my way home from work three my father will go paint the house this weekend is going to paint the house uh, this weekend will have to paint the house or will be going to paint the house uh, this weekend four unless we don't unless we if we if we don't hurry we will miss the train this is also grammar and meaning at the same time five this is now the if if I were you this is second if or if type two if I were you I would take the car I took the car take the car will take the car the museum is too far to go on food and here are the answers so uh, for number one this time tomorrow we use will be playing against the Bolton hockey team the uh, you know uh, progressive uh, future and for number two I will buy on my way uh, home from work and my father is going to paint this house or the house this weekend and uh, unless we hurry we will miss the train and finally if I were you I would take the car this is symbol past and it should be here in the second part of F type 2 would and infinitive oh, we got too many uh, you know now vocabulary mixed together we got you know quantifiers about lots a few any uh, many little a little much more and also we got some about the phone so we answer take pick up the phone what do we say and also for number one we got a bunch of grammar so choose the word or phrase that produces a grammatically correct sentence if our favorite team wins this is if type one 
the match so if our favorite team wins the match dad will have taken uh, dad take or takes or will take or would take us to our dinner so if this is here if our favorite team wins this is simba present uh, type one if type one what do we choose we choose something in the present any other uh, phrase of the if and for number two we don't have sugar left there's some in the cup board so do we have many sugar you know sugar is uncomfortable so what do we choose um, lots of sugar a few sugar any sugar and this is a question which one we use here in a, a space and three, can you answer phone, please? Can you answer a phone, the phone, or phones? I'm busy. This is easy. Four, uh, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables, but I don't eat many, much more, a lot of meat. What do we choose here? This is meat, and it doesn't have an S. Only a few people, only any people, only a little, or only many people turn up for the opening of the art gallery, it was very disappointing. And voila, these are the answers. So, you know, uh, F type one, if it wins, uh, dad will take. So present, present. Uh, number uh, two, do we have uh, any sugar left? This is a question and uncountable, we use any. And also, can you answer the phone, please? And I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables, but I don't eat much meat. It's uncountable. Uh, only a few people turned up for the opening uh, of the art gallery. It was very disappointing. Okay. Now, also in, in the next unit, we got something about crimes and how do we deal in crimes in our society. So a crime against nature. Now we have combined the nature uh, uh, you know and crime so I'm gonna read for you and we have only five words to find them here in the in their proper uh, spaces from one to five I will read for you very slowly and I hope you follow up with me according what have this morning's newspaper where newspaper to this morning newspaper that uh, this morning if okay this is easy so uh, according this morning's newspapers, the world is shocked by this week's latest news. 500 wh white whales were killed on Friday as a result of people's unwillingness to take action to help them. The uh, 500 whales were trapped under thick ice on the surface of the water. Marine biologist Tony Garcia says that the outer tooth of this whale is worth a lot of money, which might explain this killing. We should, uh, sorry, we would be able to do something to help in situations like this if people not only interested in money, he added. Someone breaks the law, that person is punished. There should be a law on environmental protection, says Gil Norton, a reporter. By Monday, we will uh, something learned more about this tragedy. So sometimes it's about grammar and also it's, sometimes it's about meaning. So according to this newspaper, uh, to this morning's newspapers, the world is shocked by this week's latest news. 500 white whales were killed on Friday as a result of people's unwillingness to take action to help them. The, uh, the 500 whales were trapped under thick ice on the surface of the water. M marine biologist Tony Garcia says that the outer tooth of this whale is worth a lot of money. Which might explain this killing. We would be able to do something to help in situations like this if people were not only interested in money, he added. If someone breaks the law or when someone breaks the law, that person is punished. 
there should be a law on environmental protection says Neil, uh, sorry, Gil Norton, a reporter. By Monday, we will have learned more about this tragedy. So, what we've done today, we learned too many beautiful vocabulary relating to geographical features, units of measurement, and animal life accurately. And I really um, recommend you go check them one by one in the dictionary and choose them and put them in a list on your vocabulary booklet and try to use them into your own sentences then we had some nouns articles and determiners actually like few little many you know many and we learned some to skim a text to understand the gist scan a text to locate specific information and put the vocabulary and we talked and understood this uh, details of the text also we got a bunch of uh, you know exercise that dealing with the future tenses the present continuous i'm working and uh, going to with the future and will also future and we said we use going to to make predictions future plans and we are when you are sure and you're very positive that you're going to do something and also we use will which is the opposite also in the future but when you don't have a plan when you're not certain or positive about thing or when you have uh, you know when you want to make predictions or promises these are the answer uh, sorry the references and the resources for you if you like to check them up for extra activity and for more information and lessons you can uh, visit our website follow us on Twitter call us on this number for any technical problems and Thank you for watching this and I, uh, you know, until I meet you again, I hope you uh, take the rest of the day off and assalamu alaikum.